It's Thursday, and today's topic is childhood. The weirdest thing happened. I'm walking down the street, and I say to myself, My gosh, that's Jimmy Peterson. I haven't seen him since third grade. And I slapped him on the back, and I said, How is it going, you old moron, you drunken reprobate? And he falls down and starts screaming, Oh, mommy, mommy. And I realized, wait a second. If that's Jimmy Peterson, he would have grown up too. When I was a little girl, about two years old, I was in love with The Wizard of Oz. So before I could even read, my dad has this video of me with one of those golden books of The Wizard of Oz, and I'm sitting there pretending to read it, but I'm actually acting out the entire movie. But then my parents auditioned for the Montana Great Falls Community Theater production of The Wizard of Oz, and I was three. And um, I was cast as a munchkin, and it was my first ever show. And I was really excited. I was totally in love with the girl who played Dorothy. My dad was the Tin Man for some of the understudy nights, because he was the Tin Man understudy. He was um, Uncle Henry, otherwise. If there was ever a microphone left on stage, I would go up on the stage and start singing Summer Over the Rainbow in my little high, squeaky voice. Somewhere over the rainbow. Whenever my family talks about me, they're always talking about how I've just had this love of hearts and rainbows and all of that stuff since I was two. I had a lot of fun in elementary school. I was this other kid's imaginary friend. The happiest time of my childhood was when I was living in Virginia Beach, Virginia going to Shelton Park Elementary School, which I think has since been torn down, which is really depressing. I was insane at that school. I was obsessed with Robin Williams, particularly this movie, which Kathy just gave me on DVD for my birthday. But, um, yeah, I don't even know how I had seen it. I think it was on the Disney Channel. But um, I used to pretend to be Batty, the bat, and fly around the playground and run into poles because he runs into trees, and I would say things like, red light, red light again. I, I don't even know how I'm still alive. I used to eat grass to make my friends laugh, and it was really good, actually. Um, but yeah, those were some of the happiest years of my life. Like, why be normal? Because normal, what does normal get you? I was called into the principal's office one time, and she looked at me and said, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. And I said, I'm the one in the middle, you drunken slob. The one thing that I do remember from my schooling, besides me being a loon, is the fact that my teachers, they loved me, but they hated me. I applied myself more into making people laugh and entertaining people than I did to my actual work. I remember especially my gym teacher hated me, hated me. Because I was always coming up with these smart-ass things, and like, I'd be running around the playground, we were supposed to be running the mile or whatever, and I'd be like skipping along, pretending to be a bat, or pretending to be the genie. But, um, she said, remember everyone, there's no I in team. And I was like, I raised my hand, and she said, yes, Sarah. And I said, but there's a me. And she was just like, go sit over there. So I had to go sit in like the, the corner of the field and watch everybody else play. I remember I used to cross the street and my parents would always be standing out there looking at me and placing bets. Virginia Beach is where I learned how to swim in the deep waters because like all of my friends either had pools or neighbors with pools um, and they also taught me how to ride a bike. A funny bike story that I have besides my bike getting hit by my friend's car. Um, I was riding my bike to visit Becky but I fell sideways and landed on my hand but I, I didn't stop like the bike did not stop going I kept like rolling down the street so my hand was like gliding against the turf and I remember like limping up I don't know why I was limping I'd hurt my hand but um I was like limping up to the doorway and I knocked and Becky's mom came and she was like hi Sarah oh my god what happened and I was just like 
I need a band-aid. So I feel like I've learned a lot of my like life moments from the friends that I had there and that's another reason that I sort of cling to the past. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> she said, how would you like to repeat the third grade? And I said, well, I don't know if I could do it exactly the same, but I'll try. Um, when I was 13, I went to my friend Sarah's um, birthday party, and it was at this laser tag place. But anyway, Sarah came up to me, bleeding down her wrist, like all the way down her arm. And she was like, oh, Sarah. So the first thing I did was shoot her. And then she was like, Sarah, help me. And I said, whoa, where did you get the fake blood? So I, would, I immediately was like, oh shit, I'm sorry. So I raised my gun, because you were supposed to raise your gun to get help to come. So in effect, I did actually help her, but only after killing her and accusing her of pretending. This vlog is brought to you by My Childhood and Emo Phillips. Now if you'll excuse me, I think I've got a date with some ferns of the gully.